Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Murdered Soul Suspect. We had uh, just been to the museum, picked up some more clues onto the uh, killer's case, and we are heading back to the church because the cops seem to be heading there pretty darn quickly. And we need to find out why. Probably because somebody's been attacked and likely killed. And we need to find out if Joy is okay. And we're finding a lot of these on the way there. Hello. Oh, more of uh, Julia's stuff. Salem feels dangerous. Salem is supposed to be a quiet place, the kind of place where you can escape the problems of a big city, but it's getting to where I don't feel safe walking outside at night here anymore. I talked with Ronan about it, and he tries to assure me that he's the most dangerous guy in this town, but the bravado doesn't help much. Some Something is sick about this place. Yeah... Oh, hello. Judgment House plaque. Known as Judgment House, the former residence of Judge John Hathorne, uh, 1641-1717, who at times held court in his own parlour room, he kept the accused locked in his cellar, as was the custom in colonial times. His unfortunate role in the witch trials of 1692 became a permanent blotch on his name. Oh, fudge. Not going that way. Yeah, quite clearly. Oops. Whoopsie. Hmm. How very silly of me, Marvin. Right. Hello. Need three more to uncover the story. Good grief. Will we make it to the church on time? Am I even heading in the right direction? Whoa! Why can I possess a cat? Do I need a cat to get around? I do love how they've done the cats in this. They sound so adorable. Oh, f damn it. Why can't I just jump up onto the dumpster? I mean, if. Uh, 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 uh. I won't lie, cats are incredibly difficult to control. Unpopular opinion. Probably. Spider cat. Spider cat. Okay. Reveal, please. And take... Oh my god, I only need one more. What is this? Thanks, puss. Really? Oh, mm. Yeah, use a good kitty. Alright, I'm going that way then. On the wrong way. St 
still. <laughs> Going the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Led me to another one of those doohickamy things. Another Ronan pops the question. Today he asked, and I honestly didn't know what to say. I want to be with him. I love him. But when he asked to marry me, I found myself unable to say anything. Like my voice was frozen. And he just knelt there, my silence crushing him. And then he got up. It was five minutes before I could tell him I needed to think, but have I blown it now? Yes. Yes, you did. Actually, you didn't. Although I'm definitely finding these pieces of information in quite a disjointed way, considering we had the one where he popped the question and she said yes. Much earlier on. I don't think I want to be here. Hmm? Nelson family photo. We were nervous about the amount of candles and oil lamps Claire had in the house. She loved the dim light, especially in her seances. She didn't take them seriously. She just wanted to talk to dead celebrities. That looks awful. Oh, hello, little pussy, pussy, pussy cat. Your soul is mine. Oh, controlling this cat is going to be so much fun. If the cat falls from here, does it die? I hope not. Because I will feel bad. Hello. Miss. What, what, what happened here? That looks like, like a baby down there. Please help me. It's supposed to be dead. I can still feel growing inside me. It's trying to rip its way out. Wait. You did this? You, you killed your own kid? You don't understand. There was something wrong with it. It wasn't human. It, it was something else. Something darker. What the hell are you talking about? It showed me things. Horrible things. This was the only way to stop them from happening. But I was too late. They've already begun. I, I can see them crawling their way up from the flames. We have to run! You can't run from this. If you want it to stop, you have to find a way to, to move on. I, I can't. There's nowhere to go. It's only darkness and flame. Jesus, lady. Good grief. It's probably the most horrific thing I've heard yet. Okay. I hope the cat knows how to get down, because I certainly don't. There's no escaping this hell. Uh, yeah. Oh no, I can't get down from here. What? Oh no! Ah! 
No, it's bugged. Oh, no, wait. Oh, God, I just walked through the railing, don't I? Oh, what am I talking about? Oh, I'm, oh, losing me. oh I'm stuck. Oh, what am I going to do? For God's sake. Oh, hello. Cause of death was burn shock. Kerosene from an oil lamp covered front of clothing, hands and face, likely a large spill, then ignited by a nearby flame. Oh, dear. What the... Street brawls. <laughs> it's amazing I lived as long as I did. It was crazy how often someone picked a fight with me from early on, trying to put me in my place at first, then trying to prove something with their failed attempts to beat me down. Didn't anyone ever tell them, you never poke the sleeping bear? And that was the last one of those. So I did a thing. A. Grace, cause of death. Victim died of massive blunt trauma when the bookshelf in her shop collapsed on top of her. My god. These aren't what I want. I want the rest. Family of three. Family is what you're given, and also what you make it. Had such a lovely dinner with Rex and Roan and the two men in my life. What are the chances that these two guys are going to be the best of friends? Like brothers. They can really be themselves around each other. And I get to see a different side of each of them. I am so grateful. What the hell? Oh wait, I think that's what I did to reveal this location? be in there then can I not remove this seem like I can remove that but or at least I should be able to right well I'm gonna get out of this section I can't remember how I got in here Lord preserve the other side of that door. Okay. Right, well, we're back here at least. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, that frightened me to death there. I thought there was another dead person here with me so much dead and I'm beating around the bush here but always worth having just a quick look round just to make sure that I haven't missed the obvious I don't like the fact that there are people that I can hide in all over this place meow, meow. Yeah, that leads to the cemetery. We don't need to go back there. Right. Head to the church. Well, with my dawdling around, can we make it to the church on time? I certainly hope it wasn't timed. <laughs> oh, because whoever was... 
relying on me, it'd be damn it. Dead. Right, so to get to the church. This way. Okay. We're on the right trail now, at least. I don't want to hide. Right. Let's have a quick butchers around there. Now that I've got teleport. Oh, oh God. because I keep, well, I've been playing Tomb Raider, I keep trying to jump up onto those boxes. <laughs> oh dear. Have you got nothing better to do tonight, love? Let's find out what's happened. Just casually strolling in there. Cops and criminals get used to red and blue flashing lights. Even after you get numb to them, sometimes they still chill your bones. You can get that feeling that this time, they mean something personal. Joy, Joy, don't! Damn it. Silly go. Lieutenant, got her sneaking up the side staircase. Says she's a friend of the priest. Where's Walter McCauley? Is he all right? Just put her in my car. I want to interview her myself. Did somebody remind Broyles that the door's not going to watch itself? Yes, sir. It's a simple question, please! Take it easy on her. Hey, anybody find Baxter yet? Nope. Into the station, drove by his place, nothing. You know, there's definitely something wrong here. I mean, honestly, have you ever seen anything like this? Huh? After this stuff, it feels like a goddamn riddle. I don't know. I just seem so... demented. Demented. I gotta find this crime scene before they cart away all the evidence. Joy and Iris are at the church. I need to make sure they're okay. Start investigation. Right, okay, so we've got to find... We've got to find the crime scene. Hopefully there ain't no demons here. Oh, well, what do you know? Should be able to get past these ones with relative ease. Um, can they see me up here though? That's the question. Why can I not teleport over there? Just walk through that wall, unfortunately. Aha!
damn it. Ah, oh, shh. That's the first time that's ever happened. Work of a real monster, eh? The hell? Iris was killed by the Bell Killer, but how did he find her? Brute Force. The killer must have pushed over this statue to break it. Heavy. This is where the statue was before it ended up on Iris. And that would have been heavy. Damn. Well, what have we got here? Crushing impact. Only something powerful could crack the ground like this, probably after falling from a height. Oh boy. That must be Iris's blood from where she was trying to get away from the killer. One, two, four, five. Shattered. Shattered window glass, just like from my murder. Hospital, she'd still be alive. Don't hold too tight to what's keeping you here. Just remember, this wasn't your fault. I'm sorry. What else did he do here? 
Time to get our investigate on. Checks with the killer's trail upstairs. This plaque almost. Salem's history. Uh, rectory dedication plaque. Here, rising as a mythical phoenix, we consecrate this rectory in the year 1902. I mean, that is one hell of a way to go. Being crushed and then. Ugh. Crushed. Ah. Uh. Well. Oh, shit. Seems like. Uh, he cut loose. Scared, for sure. Good grief. Ira stumbled through the group of people apparently fleeing from somewhere else. Lady, you just stop talking. Okay, we need to find more information to get her to spill the beans. Beaten victim. The killer ruthlessly attacked these people. Twisted. Jeez. He didn't stand a chance. Overpowered. Why take out all these people? Escape route. Footprint on the windowsill. This must be the route both Iris and the killer took to get down to the courtyard. Unfortunately, Iris's landing was a little uh, harsher than she had hoped. Destroyed. Broken glass. He likes his broken glass. Oh man, all that food's gonna go to waste. Maybe I've got enough now to influence. Oh, I am missing one thing. What would make her think about why the killer murdered them? That girl was running away. That's who he's after. Not the rest of us. The witness claims the killer was obviously after Iris, and they got in his way, so he killed them. We have cocktails already. <laughs> okay, all right, everyone, let's get this picture. We've got to get to the reception now. Everybody, get to the reception. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's a little. Oh, let me go. Let me go. He's, he's here. Look, you need to back off. <laughs> Terrible landing. 
No, 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 no. They, these weren't normal Bell Killer murders. These people were just in the way. He was after Iris. I wonder if there's more evidence in Joy's room. This massacre was not part of the Bell Killer's plan. They just got in the way, so we killed them just like me. Now, we need to get up to Joy's room. Ugh. I think that's over in the main church. Now, the only way I remember getting up there via Pussycat. And quite... Ooh, hello. I don't appear to have a pussycat available to me. Sanctuary. Ronan isn't religious, and neither am I, but I'm starting to get through to him about the sense of tradition that comes from a place like St. Benedict. It was a breath of fresh air to be there today. That Father McCauley, he's doing such fine work in the community. A real inspiration, that one. All the things I've done with troubled young people pales in comparison to what Cooley has done. If there's such a thing as a living saint, he's got to qualify. Ah. Uh, we can go up here stairs. Oh no. Oh no. Man, how am I gonna tell her about you? Why was the killer here? Oh, what was that noise? Poor man's neck snapped completely. He never had a chance. for joy. Damn it. He died protecting Iris, his last act of sacrifice. That boy had nothing else to regret. He's gone straight up. Something spooked the cat. Staring. The killer was found in the attic by the priest, then discarded what he was holding. Joy's photo of her and her mother shattered after it fell to the ground. Okay, that leaves out of the investigation zone. I've got four or five clues. Seriously, game. Why are you making it that annoying to find them? Ah! Ha ha ha! Sneaking around. The cat must still be nearby from the looks of those tracks. What did the killer do up here? It's either going to be that one, or that one. There we go. But I don't think she's the most ideal roommate. 
a little rough around the edges, but I'm sure you like the room, and in time you'll both get along really well. Don't worry, I can get along with most anyone. Excellent. Well, this is the room. Here we are. Father? What's wrong? Go! Go! <laughs> for joy, but took out Iris instead. This is a friggin' dead end. So where's Baxter? If he's not here, he's got some explaining to do. Well, what about you? You see anything? Hmm? <laughs> The killer came here for joy, but decided to kill Iris instead when he discovered she wasn't here. Investigate the crime scene. Find out what the cat saw. And we shall do that in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you all again in the next installment of Murdered Soul Suspect. Bye-bye.